Eddie Thompson arrived looking for a point, where he brought with him a side suffering from low morale. It was going to be a trial and error game, he said, a big challenge that was sure to succeed given time. Uh, it's been an up and down week because taking over a new squad, first of all I didn't know some of the players and uh, I've only seen them play in a couple of games. So at training it was a very watchful week. Um, we done a bit of, I had a look at them on Wednesday and then we done a bit of organising uh, on the Thursday and then we had a small practice game on Friday. So it was very uh, premature stuff of what they'll be receiving the next two or three weeks. So where did Eddie Thompson see his job beginning? Well, first of all, their fitness is terrible. They've got to improve their fitness at least 30% to be competitive in this league. Uh, secondly, is they're actually working off the ball, you know, even just watching them at training, the actual movement off the ball is next to nil. And to succeed in this league and that, you've got to uh, make yourself available for the rest of the players. They're playing individually, they're good individual players, but uh, it's not a good team yet and it's up to me to mould them into a team. For striker John Cosmina, it was not only another homecoming, but also the beginning of a club partnership renewal with Thompson. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's great. You know, after six years with Sydney City and all the successes we had, uh, you know, I was sad to leave the club, but Tom has sort of brought a part of all that back, which is great. City brought back striker Joe Mullen after a knee injury, while Tony Dacos was a surprise late inclusion in the Olympic side. The early exchanges were all tentative, with City's Sergio Melter number six using the open spaces, but Lemmy Vatsilis unable to capitalise. But in the tenth minute, Andy Tolan gave the national champions the lead from an Alex Tobin throw. For a while, the Olympic gold had some anxious moments. But Olympic were also beginning to look threatening. With their strikers allowed too much room for comfort, City's lead was to be short-lived. In the 20th minute, with the run of play changing, John Cosmina levelled the scores. John, how did you see the equaliser? I saw it go in. Pretty happy with that because it's my first this season. No, oh, Abbott's just got a break on the left hand side and he ran at the defence and they committed himself and I just got in behind him. He knocked the ball in the path and stuck it up. It was a crucial stage of the game. Well, oh, I think we were lucky to go one down. I think we, uh, the first 15 minutes of the game, were on top of them and they scored. And it was, I think, against the run of play. They had a couple of half chances. We had some good effort and stuff inside the box. Um, we were we expecting to score a couple of them. We did. Olympic were now on top, and five minutes later, Kalansis found space on the left to set up Olympic's second goal, with City's defence at sixes and sevens. Slow motion shows an own goal against City defender Bugsy Niskehus. Olympic kept up the pace through Kalansis and Saad, but City's keeper Willie McNally kept Cosmina at bay. In the second half, Olympic carried on where they'd left off, and Kalansis nearly sewed the match up. But City were countering through Melter and Vidmar down the right, although too often the vital pass went astray. Then in the 71st minute, Adrian Santrak lined up City's equaliser, albeit indirectly, for the left foot of Charlie Villani. From then on, City's hopes of a repeat of last season's grand final came alive, and this time it was the turn of the Olympic defence to hold on to the final whistle. Afterwards, a satisfied Eddie Thompson summed up. I'm up 2-1, we should have been. It should have been about 4-1 at half-time, but had good chances, Abbasad and David Radcliffe. A bit unlucky, he may score the super goal the first one, but uh, we got 2-1 and we had another chance in the second half, a goal disallowed. Uh, so I was, I was banking on two points. Uh, I was a bit disappointed in their goal, the Lions had the flag up and pulled it down again and Charlie had a great shot to put in the back of the net and the last 20 minutes was all ugly because our boys just are not fit but uh, I'm quite